Hi, welcome to MediatorPodcast.com, a podcast and video series about mediation, negotiation, and collaboration. My name is Melissa Gregg, and I'm a valuation expert and a divorce mediator in St. Louis, Missouri. Today, we will discuss the divorce journey with the founder of Foundations Divorce Solutions and Foundations Coaching Group, Caroline Pack. Caroline is a certified divorce and transitions coach, a life coach, a mediator, and a certified divorce financial analyst based in Seattle, Washington. She's going to be expanding to other areas, maybe even LA soon. But But what advice do you have for somebody who's trying to balance all of these changes coming at the same time through this divorce process? And some of them always seem like they're more important than the others, or they're all important, right? Yeah, they're all important whether you know it or not, whether you understand it or not, they're all important. They're they're all aspects that may perpetuate and expand your stress. And so an advice for someone going through the divorce process may be hire the experts. It's okay, right? And it's not even just hire the experts. Hire the people who make you feel safe. Mm. When I have consultations for mediation, I always let them know, make sure it's the right fit. Make sure your mediator makes you feel safe. If you don't feel connected to your mediator, you're not going to be able to make the right decisions for you. If you don't feel safe with me, by all means, go and meet with other mediators mm-hmm. and find out. Every mediator has a different style. They they have a and and I let my clients know my style of mediation is very different than the average mediator because I will take you on a journey. It's a process. I recognize that it's not about just the numbers. So if you want just the numbers, there are other mediators with financial backgrounds. By all means that might be a better fit for you. Or if you just want the legal, I'm not an attorney. I can give you the parameters of the law, but I can't tell you this is exactly how it's gonna be because I don't practice law. Mm -hmm. But if you wanna feel held, if you wanna look at the numbers, if you wanna know that we have a plan that, you know, you were speaking earlier about like essentially the numbers. I work with my clients to work through their budget, their spending plan. We go detail to detail. This is how much money is coming in from salary, from bonuses, child support, to spousal maintenance. We look at all of that. We look at all the expenses. Every line by line, I ask them, okay, you have a car. There's no payment here. How old's your car? When do you think we need to purchase a new car? what kind of car would you purchase? Would you buy it in cash or would you have a month, you know, a a loan against it so that we can project that in, right? Mm -hmm. It's not just about what is, what's your cash flow the day after divorce? Can you live in the house and pay your, your utilities and put food on the table? That's not all we're looking at. We're Mm -hmm. looking at when the car breaks down, do we have the funds to fix it? Or do we have the funds to buy a new one? Have we already allocated some of those funds, right? We talk about, okay, so you don't have cable TV, but tell me about all the subscriptions. Let's add those up. Are those being shared with your spouse? Will you want these separately? How do we budget that in, right? We go through the practical And in the practical, as they recognize, oh, these are where the bills are going. This is how much I'm spending. They once again become agents of their own lives. They went from not knowing anything about their finances to now learning a little bit, getting comfortable with it, and then saying, okay, what else can I add? Mm -hmm. What else can we look at? I'm feeling better about this. Can you teach me the next step? 
Mm -hmm. right? It's, it's that journey, emotional, mental, along with the practical, it's the journey, right? It's not just about I'm processing the divorce, but really, do I know I got this? Mm -hmm. Do I know I got this? Knowing something as simple as I'm in the black at the end of every month has, has you recognize, I got this. Right. I can do this, right? right? Slight shift. But again, it's all about the slight shifts that end up being a firm foundation for your future. Well.